In Roman numerals, numbers are represented by letters. So I is 1, V, 5, X, 10, L, 50, C, 100, D, 500, and M is 1000. So 100 is C. To write 200, we write C twice, because that's two lots of 100. For 300, we write C three times. But then, for 400, we need to do something slightly different. And that's because, in Roman numerals, we can't have more than three of the same letter written next to each other. So we can't write 400 as four Cs. So instead, we need to write 400 as 100 before 500. So that's C before D. 500 is D. Then 600 is 100 after 500. So that's D and then C because we have 500 and then another 100 to make 600. 700 is D, C, C. So that's 500 and then two hundreds. 800 is D, C, 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 so 500, and then three hundreds. But then, again for 900, we need to do something different. We can't write D and then four Cs, because we can only have three of the same letter next to each other. So we write 900 as 100 before 1000. So that's C before M. Then 1000 is M. So now let's see if we can write these numbers in Roman numerals. First we have 124. So we can take each digit separately. This 1 is in our hundreds and we write 100 as C. This 2 stands for two tens, so that's two X's. And this 4 we need to represent as 1 before 5, so that's I before V. Now, for 249, we have 200, so that's two Cs. For 40, we need to represent that as 10 before 50, so that's X before L. And then 9, we need to write as 1 before 10, so that's I before X, because remember, we can't have more than 3 of the same letter next to each other. Now we have 305. So three hundreds we can represent with three Cs. Then we have zero in our tens and we don't have placeholders when we write numbers in Roman numerals. So we don't need to write anything for our zero tens. We just need to write five, which is V and we have our number. Now we have 494. So, for 400, we can't write four Cs because we can only have three of the same letter next to each other. So, we need to write 400 as 100 before 500. So, that's C before D. Then for 9, that stands for 90. And we need to represent 90 as 10 before 100. So, X before C. Then 4 is 1 before 5. So that's I before V. Now we have 509. 500 is D. We don't need to write anything for the zero in our tens. And 9 is 1 before 10. So I before X. Now we have 590. 500 is D. And then for 90 we need to write that as 10 before 100. So X before C, and then we have zero in our ones, so we don't need to write anything else. 600 is 100 after 500, or 500 and then another 100, so that's D and then C. For 30, we can represent that with three tens, so three X's, and then four is one before five, so that's I before V. For 700, we have 500 and then two 100s, so that's D and then two Cs. This 9 stands for 90, and we write that as 10 before 100, so X before C, 
and then this nine we need to write as one before ten, so I before X. Now, 850. So 800 is 500 and then three one hundreds. So that's D and then three C's. 50 is L and then we don't need to write anything for our ones digit because we have a zero. 900 needs to be written as 100 before 1000. So that's C before M. 80 is 50 and then 3 tenths, so L and then 3 X's, and 1 is I.